All right, gang, this one says factor the following polynomial using the negative of the greatest common factor. Now remember, when we factor out the GCF, the result's going to look like this. It's going to be the GCF times something. In this case, we're just telling us to take out the negative of the GCF. This is always going to be the case whenever the leading term of the polynomial is negative. All right, so what's the GCF? Well, usually you can look at those coefficients and tell what the greatest common factor of the coefficients happens to be. But remember, if you can't figure it out, if you're not sure, then you can always break down each one of these coefficients into a product of prime factors. So 30, we could factor as 3 times 2, which is 6 times 5. 42, we could factor as 3 times 2, which is 6 times 7. And 36 would be 2 times 2 is 4. And then 3 times 3 is 9, so 4 times 9 is 36. So each of these uh, coefficients we have broken down into prime numbers. Now, what do they have in common? Well, there's a 3 here, there's a 3 here, and there's a 3 there. So that's 3's in common. But we also have um, a 2 here, a 2 here, and a 2 here. So they all have a 3 times 2 in common, which means they all have 6 in common. So that means the GCF is going to include 6. We're going to take out a negative 6, right? So we're going to say the GCF is actually negative 6. Nothing else in terms of the coefficients. The variables, we've got x cubed, x cubed, and x squared. What do they have in common? Well, they all have an x squared in common. No more than x squared, because this guy only has two of them. For the y's, i got y squared, y, and y. So what they have in common is just the one y. So we're going to be factoring out a negative 6x squared y. So let's write that down here. Negative 6x squared y times something. And to get that something, we're going to take each one of the terms of the original polynomial and divide it by negative 6x squared y. Divide it by whatever we've factored out here. All right. Now you might not actually have to write this down each time, but I want to do it just for clarification here, to be clear. Negative divided by negative is positive. 30 divided by 6 is going to give us 5. x to the third over x squared is x. y squared over y is y. Now notice how that term inside the parentheses is a positive 5xy. We wanted that term to be positive. That's the whole reason we factored out a negative in the first place. Okay, now, in the next term, a negative divided by a negative is positive. 42 divided by 6 is 7. x cubed over x squared is x. The y's cancel out, so they're gone. And then for the last term, right, the last term, positive 36 divided by a negative 6 is negative 6. The x squares cancel, and the y's cancel. So that means the this is the answer right here. And as I've always said, you should check that answer to make sure that when you distribute negative 6x squared y times 5xy plus 7x minus 6, when you distribute that through, you should get back to the original problem. And we will in this case, but it's always a, a good idea to, to check.